Alrighty guys, welcome out to park visit the round two, which basically means week two. And I'm at a new Cedar Fair Park. This is my sixth Cedar Fair Park. And it is Michigan's Adventure. Okay, that's nice how you kind of turn right and left and then kind of come out here, which is actually really interesting. So here's Corkscrew actually. So this, this looks pretty interesting actually. I'm very excited today. Let's actually ride some coasters and let's see what we can do. It's about 4.30, so let's see what we can get accomplished.
actually has a line here. It's for the lock flume. It's hilarious. Everything else is station walk except for that.
Street. What the Cedar Point knocked off? how Michigan's Adventure actually does have Coca-Cola refreshment stations. So it's, it seems like all the Cedar Fair parks have them. guys so it is uh, eight, eight, almost 8 30 which means for the last half hour of the ride or of the day I'm going to go on the best ride here which is you know Shivering Timbers so for Monday it was pretty nice you guys see there's some landscaping logger run looks like a cool log film actually don't forget that Michigan's Adventure also does have over 60 rides, total rides here. So, <laughs> for being a small park, I got a lot of rides. This is, and everybody says, oh, there's no Planet Snoopy here. Well, there does not need to be. There's family rides all over the place that there literally is no need for a Planet Snoopy. They're just scattered all over the place. So, what are you waiting for? it is really cool. Oh, yeah. Look at this little train here. This is really cute. So be fair, there are some stuff to nag about this. Uh, but overall, this is a different style flair, and I love it. Really fun. Beautiful. What a prestige park. Got three rides on Mr. Uh, I just uh, about said Mystic Timbers. Shivering Timbers. Um, and then I did Wolverine, Wildcat once, Corkshoe once, Thunderhawk once, everything else once basically. And all the rides are really classic here. They're really nice. Um, Who are you talking to? My camera. Oh. <laughs> It's, it's a really nice park, actually. Like, this is a very different Cedar Fair park. Like, you come here and you're, it's just not the same. It's family oriented, not corporate, it doesn't feel corporate, and it's just pleasant. I mean, like, it's been a while since I've seen a park hey, in this setting. Hello. Hey, what's up? It's <laughs> Trevor from Shivering Timbers Crew here. Have a good day. Shout out to him if you ever see him as a ride operator. <laughs> This is overall just a very awesome park. Still doing midway games. Oh, he got 100. Nice job there. Oh, and he got 100 again. Wow. Two times in a row. Oh, he's going to do third one. And he got it again. Wow. Uh, woo woo. 
So there's the scooters there. They're new, so they're not like the crazy snapping ones, but still pretty fun. Next to a classic aerodynamics corkscrew. They got an awesome uh, little game stand. Nice little music. Time to go grab a t-shirt. Yeah, this is very popular here, the Fool the Guesser. A lot of people actually like the Fool the Guesser here. If you choose, I'll guess if I get it wrong, you lose Time to head out. I did wish I get at least another snack here, but it is too late. Um, but for what I did get, it was okay. They had a Cedar Point knockoff restaurant. So, so this, um, so you can either go that way, and that then you, if you go to the right, it takes you out. But we're gonna go to the store so we um, so I can get a uh, shirt. Can't go wrong with the shirt. Snoopy's Boutique. I'm leaving the park, and it was a pretty good day, actually. This is a weird park, actually, I will say. Um, I have, make, like, I love this park, but I do see its flaws, and I do see its potential. We'll have to see how that goes. We'll have to see what uh, Cedar Fair Entertainment decides they what, what they want to do with this park. So... It's great just spending a nice couple hours here. It was overall really awesome. And here they come, kind of clean up the crews. I gotta say, this is actually the, one of the few parking lots where it actually doesn't look dirty when the park closes. Yes, there's some litter around, but trust me, Six Flags Great Adventure um, or Kings Dominion, they have some of the worst parking lots when the park closes. Like, I feel bad for some of the parks that they have to do with bad parking lots. But overall, like, this is a decent park. And from what I've actually heard, this park can get really crowded, actually. So this park definitely gets good business, and that's good for Michigan's adventure. So that will do it for this park visit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So here we go, round two, day one, here at Michigan's Adventure. Next park visit will be round two, day two, at Six Flags Great America in Gurleyan in Illinois. Thank you all for watching. And as always, roller coaster fanatics, keep coasting. Hey guys, editing Charles here. Sorry about the lighting, not everything is set up because it's a very quick video um, as I was editing this. Uh, and I wanted to say real quick because I kind of wanted to throw some key points out there that I didn't really get to say in the park visit because um, I was kind of quick on stuff uh, when I was at the park. But I have to say, it's been a long time since a park blew me like that. Um, I was not expecting much going to this park. Uh, a lot of people just seem to really want to joke about this park and make a lot of just saying stuff as, oh, it's it's so let down, it's not even a great park. As soon as I walked in those gates and I started riding all the rides and taking in everything, I began to realize that I started to get a soft spot for this park, and I really enjoyed it. This is so different from all the other Cedar Fair parks, and what's really amazing about this park is it was so different. It was a fresh look. It was so amazing to finally get a new breath of fresh air when it had coming to this park. It was, I was so just thrown the other direction of how this park was set up and how it's run, how it feels, and I, I enjoyed it. Um, I will say it's definitely not my least favorite Cedar Fair park I've been to. Um, it is up there. Like I said in the video, there are definitely some places where you're like, okay, they can you get some work on that and stuff like that. And that's just the coaster, coaster enthusiast side of me. But the coasters that are there are really nice. Thunderhawk, I never got to say this, but Thunderhawk is my favorite uh, SLC. It is actually enjoyable. It was not rough, and it's so weird to say that. They're running two trains that day on a Monday, and crowds are pretty nice. Um, it was like the perfect crowds too. Not too big, not too small. And Shivering Timbers also had two trains. Shivering Timbers was the icon of the park. It still is. It is a beautiful airtime machine in the front row. And even the back row, you're just going to get the bumps. Uh, but it's still really cool. Um, Wolverine and Royal Cat is really nice. And then Corkscrew is a classic that's also enjoyable. And then Mad Mouse is amazing. What a great wild mouse. Just kind of really quick some talking points. Real quick, 
There's no Planet Snoopy because there doesn't need to be one. There's literally an entire area of family rides. Like, seriously, like in a row, just 10 of them. No, no, more like 15 just scattered all next to each other. And then you have Zack Zoomer. And then you have the Kitty Coaster. So, like, that entire area is a family area. And then elsewhere, you got family rides scattered throughout. Especially on the far side where Shivering Timbers is. They have the Log Flume. Um, they have some other style rides. They have, like, the Wipeout style ride. Um, they have Flying Eagles, sco the Flying Scooters. They even have a mini golf there and that's the only Cedar Fair park that I know that has a mini golf which is even more cool and it's only three bucks now when I was there it was closed um, but I believe it was open earlier during the day they have swan boats there they have and, and overall this park is really grounded there's some lots of great stuff to do here and you could probably spend a full day here I, I unfortunately did not get to visit the water park but from what it looked like it looked really good so overall just kind of edit out there I really recommend people go to this park it's going to be a lot different from your other Cedar Fair parks it's not going to feel that big grandiose amusement park style extravaganza like Cedar Point or Kings Island this is a family grounded based park and it was such a new fresh take that I I was kind of stunned for the first day going there and I've been thinking about it over time what I really do think about this park and I really have to say I do like this park it is really nice and I definitely would love to go back out there again I can't wait to see what they do at this park there's so much potential of what they could do they're gonna stay more towards the family side but I would love to see what this park becomes and if you guys are in the area um, and you guys uh, have something to do I definitely recommend to go up to this park so I ended out with this park visit with a little bit of a vlog in it, but I kind of wanted to just say that because I didn't really get to say enough about it in my park visit. So um, that will do it for this park visit finally. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, roller coaster fanatics, keep coasting.